you smell what the rock is cooking. Hello and welcome to Gamer for Last. My name is Matt's Mad. I'm doing a quick review for you today on the legend himself, Herlan Crespo. As you just saw from that little clip, I actually packed him uh, myself, and I've obviously I've had a bit of pack luck this year. James will tell you all about that. I'll go into it later on when we do like a FIFA review of the year, what it's been like. Um, but basically, he's got him with Crespo. So, got him with a pack, a normal seven a premium gold pack, seven and a half, seven point five k pack. Um, He's been. He's a really. I really like him. He's a. He's a fantastic player to use in the game. Um, he's strong. He's got really good physical stats for a striker. He's quick. He's got fantastic heading ability and striking ability. Um, I was over the moon when I packed him because I. I, I used quite a few legends last year. I thought a part time FIFA at the end of FIFA. I had a full legends team, um, and I put. I never used Crespo. I think I had to Shengdo and Lineker last year. Um, and Crespo is unreal. Um, he's got really, he's, I think he's medium, medium when he's, when he's attacking. I think he's a, he's a fantastic, fantastic player, and he was in, in life itself as well, where he played mo most re mo um, at Inter. He played at, um, I believe it was Lazio when he played at AC, and obviously had a year at Chelsea. And obviously, he played for Argentina. So, what you're going to be watching at the moment is the goals that he scored for me. Um, if I'm going to in a fair review of Crespo, he is a he's a great player to use, and I really enjoyed using him. But the problem that I had with Crespo myself is that sometimes, as James would say, he doesn't finish his dinner. Why don't you finish dinner, Crespo? Why can't you put the easy shots away? Sometimes you'll be through in goal, and I had it the other day. I had 14 shots on target. On, I had 14 shots, and I only had four on target. And Crespo, I wasn't sky high, and I'm not a bad FIFA player. From my record, you can see I, I win most of my games. But he just wouldn't put anything away. And some games you'll have, you'll be through and goal, and you you even try and just you'll place it, you'll finesse it into the corners, just tap the finesse, go go low. Normally, always works with someone like Sturridge. Won't go in. And then other games with Crespo, he'll score the most ridiculous goals. And he'll he'll score four goals in one game. My current record with Mark, I played over nearly 100 games with him. I think I've scored like 94 goals in 100 games. But I'd honestly say about 20 or 30 of those games he hadn't scored at all. And it's only because other games he scored so many goals. And all those games have been online, they haven't been against the computer. Um, it's just he won't finish it properly. He just seems to waste opportunities where other chances he'll put in the way of ease. And it's very frustrating to use because he's such a good card. And one of my things will tell you, one of my favourite cards in this game is Balotelli. Only 82 rated. He currently costs what's about 5k. And he's 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 my top goal scorer in my club at the moment. He's played about 120 games and 115 goals. And whenever I bring him as a, as a sub, he still scores. And he just seems to be a little bit more. I don't know if there's a hidden stats because it, it's a fact that in FIFA there are hidden stats about how the players work and run. It's like last year when you had um, Team of the Year Suarez and Team of the Year Ibrahimovic. Suarez's finishing was better than Ibrahimovic in the seasons, but he couldn't do better long shots. He didn't have the hidden stat. Um, and it says, I don't know if it's the same with Crespo, but sometimes it's that he won't finish. And I have Balotelli come on, who's nowhere near as good on the card, but he will finish the easier shots, or Crespo just for some reason won't always put away. And he'll just he'll miss them to the side, or he'll sky hide them when you just slightly tap the power button trying to finesse it in. And as I might think he's going for around three to four million. And the thing is for three to four million, if I I wouldn't have bought him if I I, I have the coins. I've had the coins up. I said I packed my loaf of Mateus and I packed Roberto Carlos this year. I've had over 12 million coins at some points. I wouldn't pack him. I, I, if I hadn't packed him, I wouldn't have bought him. I don't think I want to spend 3 million coins for how I've played him this year. Even though, yes, he has scored a lot of goals, it's the chances that he missed and I've, it's made me lose a few games or he hasn't put him away. And it's been very frustrating. And you try and keep him on because he's a legend. You want to play with the legends. You want to play with the players who are the best players in the game. You don't want to play with your standard players. That's why you play FIFA to get packs, because you want to pack the best players. And when I packed him, I was over the moon. So, for how he's responded, I'm, I'm happy I packed him. But would I 
what if, if I had the coins would I go and buy him? Not really, I don't think he's worth the three million. And I, if, if I was going to put money onto a player who I prefer to play with, I think Storage, my favourite partnership in this game has been Storage and Balotelli, pay some power. And I think that's the best way to play this game is pay some power. And that's what I'm trying to do with my current team. I've got Guerrero and Crespo up front. And sometimes Guerrero is just a bit like Crespo, can't always finish his dinner properly, but I think Sturridge and Balotelli are more of a lethal front two. But he has a bit more pace, Balotelli is a bit more strength than Crespo, but Crespo has overall better shooting abilities. So if I'm going to give him a rating out of 10, I'd give him a 7.5. Um, it's, it's only because I said he, he would be an 8 if he could just finish those easy chances. He, he's he got a good weak foot, he's got four, things, four star skill moves, I think it's four star weak foot as well. But I don't know, he just doesn't, he doesn't do it for me sometimes. And it's just very frustrating for the card that he is. And I'd not, I don't want to sell him because he's the first owner and it's always nice to have a first owner card. But I want to try other players so I may be looking to get rid of him. But at the moment, that's it for me. So I said, oh, well, he's worth three or four million at the moment. I wouldn't recommend going out and putting all your, all your coins in him. There's better non-legend players you can buy. I think personally, last year, I preferred Gary Inica, And I probably would buy Gary Inica again. He's a better card. He's also cheaper. So go for Gary. Gary's a good player, a bit faster as well. He's what I recommend for you to get. If you have any questions about this video, anything you want to ask me, uh, hit me a, hit me a comment. We're on Twitter as always, um, Facebook, and you know, leave a comment, give us a like and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Catch you later, night. have a good weekend. Bye. If you smell what the rock is cooking.